as dawn breaks. I'm gonna shove off. All right. Captain Emily Rydell is betting the early bird catches the gold. If we're competing for good ground, I don't want even the chance of somebody getting on the ground before us. So one of the strategies is to leave as early as possible. Yeah, the Dylan Maze on our way out. There's a code in gold mining that you don't jump other people's ground that they've found. You know, you keep a respectful distance. It's just, you know, you find your own stuff, find your own gold. It's unfortunate, but there are people that don't follow these rules. And if you're dealing with people that are going to play these kinds of games, then you have to really work hard to make sure you're the first person out. Remember your jump on it. But it will be interesting to see what they do. Where do they set once we set? How close? Are they going to set to the north, south, east? Well, I don't think they'll set east of us, because we're actually working ourselves east. When a dredge is trying to get to your spot, and so they try to beat you out there, I mean, that's just really annoying. I mean, it's a, it's, it's bad sportsmanship. We're gonna try to beat this other dredge out, get where we're trying to mine. I don't think they're gonna set up on it today. I think they're gonna give up the spot. Yeah, I don't think they're, they're, I think they're gonna, I don't think they're interested in playing a bumper game with us. Yeah, I don't think they are either. And they, they, they know that I can get crazy on them, so they're probably gonna want to avoid that. Men generally tend to avoid crazy females if they can. Help it. Crazy ones are the fun ones. And again, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they want me to get in my skiff and circle them, yeah, shouting yeah. angrily. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah should have gotten up earlier. But stiff competition isn't the only threat on the Bering Sea this morning. Look at that horizon, Emily. <sighs> Look at how jagged she is. When you have waves like that on the horizon, it usually means we're getting a cycle coming in. We got to dive where we got to dive and see what we can find. We're at the mercy of Mother Nature a little bit to just kind of see what we can do. OK, roger that. South storms coming in and these crazy strong currents and it's starting to get rough. We just had a, a wind change after you went down. Yeah, we're dragging like crazy. See you last. Uh, we're dragging like crazy right now. The goal is to get as much gold as possible. We're gonna keep pushing through, even even though the odds are kind of stacking against us here. Out in the same direction right now, but it's just not holding us. The 
speakers aren't doing right now. You're on the bottom of the Bering Sea and there's a current of water pushing you in one direction or another and it's throwing you around. You're trying to wrestle a 10 inch hose with a tremendous amount of suction with 100 horses with suction behind it. Um, it just makes it more dangerous. Okay. You know, we're just not getting enough bottom time in, and as a business owner, I'm concerned. It's obviously a huge loss for the boat, but I really don't want to put my crew down when the currents are ripping this hard. Yeah, I'm walking all over the place, and struggling to find any ground you'd work for more than five minutes, and you'd be walking around too much looking for Glad that we got out. I'm glad that we beat the other boat out because those guys suck. But that satisfied is really the wrong word for this job, man. Just get what you can and try to make it work. I'm not sure what to expect out of this gold-wise. Strong current, terrible viz, bad weather. Oh, it's looking good. Looking like gold auto look. Halfway through the season, and far short of her goal, it's safe to say Emily's not quite on pace to hit the mark. We're not getting hours that we need to be successful. I don't have a second regular diver. Jeff is gone. Um, Chase is just new, and I'm worried about it. I'm worried that we're not getting enough time on the bottom. We have one out. Three. Okay. Eight, seven, eight. 9.16. 9.1 ounces is worth over $10,000. 9.16, huh? Well, not bad, you know, it's not bad gold for that area. It's not the number she was hoping for, but Emily's strategy of starting the day at dawn provided a few critical ounces. It's just not bad, considering how much we were getting dragged around yeah. and unworked ground. And... Yeah, we always hope for the best and plan for the worst. <laughs> <laughs> A long way to go, but we'll get there.